हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम इन टेक वर्ल्ड विद एम जे दिस इज मुरारी एंड टुडे आई विल एक्सप्लेन समथिंग अबाउट द यूजेस ऑफ ओपन ए आई विथ अवर डॉट नेट सो करेंटली आई हैव यूज्ड द लेटेस्ट वर्जन ऑफ विजुअल स्टूडियो फॉर क्रिएशन दिस डेमो आई ऑलरेडी हैव क्रिएटेड दिस प्रोजेक्ट आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू समथिंग अबाउट दैट एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट दिस प्रोजेक्ट देन प्लीज राइट मी इन कमेंट आई विल Uh, provide you this uh, solution separately okay wait for a second it is loading right now so our project is loaded so i have created a solution called openai.net so you can give any name according to your requirement i have added other two project here you can see so first one is blazer app and second one is openai.net so openai.net is a open code of open ai library okay so why i have used the open code uh, just for understanding better understanding what is the current method is available under that so that's why otherwise if you want to use just a nuget package then it is not required to add the open library you can just go and add the nuget package uh, with your blazor application i mean whatever application you have okay so currently i am using the latest version of dotnet called dotnet 6 so i will show you the version of this project okay so this is the dotnet 6 project okay and uh, now first of all i will run this application for better connect uh, with our uh, uh, programming okay i will run this application so currently in this demo uh, i have covered the three scenario the first is uh because you already know that the purpose of open ai i mean chat chat gpt so when you will search any questions then it will provide you a exact answers okay the same thing if you will compare the same thing with uh, any other search engine obviously there is a lot of things uh when you will search any particular question then there is a lot of things uh from uh, the different things you will need to purify whatever answer you required but using this chat gpt it will provide you the exact answers that you can connect uh, according to your questions okay so this is the applications uh, that i have created for demo purpose so uh, there is a three scenario one is search i mean whatever you will search uh, it will provide you uh, ex uh, exact answers another is generate an image so how generate image will uh, create a complex image using the help of open ai uh services and text moderation so text moderation is something i mean uh the some content which is not uh i mean which is violated the chat gpt community guidelines so we will just provide that particular text and uh, the uh, chat gpt open ai will provide us uh, either this uh, text is violating the community guidelines or not so i mean this scenario i am covering so this is uh, this project is just for demo purpose to how you can utilize the open ai uh, in, with our dotnet 6 project or any any version of dotnet because it is supported in under uh, all versions okay so for example if i will click on this search button so here i am asking for about the indian economy and uh, and uh, i mean the number of answers i required the two and uh, the content is 200 okay so here you can see uh, just click a single source i have the two answers okay so how i uh, done this using our dot net uh, uh, code integration i will show you okay so this is the first things i would like to show in in the coding point of view as well so here when you will come under the solution you will have a blazor Uh, app okay this is the name of the project and uh, i have created some page so this is the search page okay that i was showing on the ui so this is a search page and here i added a form uh, that will contain the input so this is the input uh, so, uh, search text uh, number of result and contact content length okay context length so this is the search text number of result and the context length this is the three things i have added in the form and uh, this is the grid where i am uh, showing the result so i mean this uh, i am talking about this result grid that i have added 
uh, in this section and because uh, currently I'm using the Blazor application so I can write the logical part of the code as well on the uh, Razor page it is not required to create the controller and all so that uh, I mean the open air service that we are going to call for fetching the result is called the get stream so uh, here you you can see uh, i have used the open ai service and under the text completion and under uh, get stream this is the service or you can or you can see a method that uh, i am using for searching the result using open ai so here i have created a search model i have put it have put it the default value i mean max token something and uh, number of results in search tech. This is uh, something else you can do. Uh, it is just uh, for uh, showing, uh, showing by default, that's why. So I have used uh, this particular uh, uh, as a parameters uh, to call the get stream method of the open AI service, okay? And once you will successfully call this method, it will provide you a, a result, okay? That result I have binded here as a, a result, okay? So this is, uh, first examples or first scenario that I covered okay for covering uh, this scenario I mean you must have a uh, open AI key uh, that you will need to create okay so uh, this is the key that I have created from the open AI web applications okay and and how you can create this uh, key I did a video so I will provide it in the description so you can go and uh, check out uh, to understand how you can create the key because the key is very important for writing any code uh, regarding open ai okay so this is the first scenario when you will come on the another scenario uh, generate images so the differences between uh, this and any search engine the, uh, i mean this is a very good example to differentiate between how uh, this is different from any other search engine so here I have a complex text, complex input, you can say, and I click on the search button and it will provide us a combination of images according to this given particular input. So here I have written a otter hugging a cat with a sunset background framed with a herd. That means I provided him, I provided a very complex inputs and on behalf of that particular inputs the open ai will internally generate an image that image is looks according to our input so here you can see the hurt i a hurt sign so this is the hurt sign frame so this is a whole frame here i have written the sunset background so you can see the sunset background and the cat this is the hugging cat here so i mean uh, you can easily understand that how uh, the chat GPT open AI is uh, different from a uh, normal Google search engine for another example if you will write here uh, cat with cat with India get IND so I mean this is something different that open AI will generate for you sorry India get so this is something uh, different that uh, OpenAI will generate for you. So uh, in the meantime, I will search the same thing on Google as well. So when you will search the same thing on Google, then obviously you will find the images of India Gate or you can find the image, sorry, you can find the images of India Gate and uh, images of cat but it will be under the different images not in the single images okay but if you will talk about uh, uh, with the help of open ai here you can see this is the india gate and the cat in the same frame okay so i mean this is the beauty of open ai how i have created these things so i will show you in the our dotnet application so here I, so here i have created generate image is uh, pages that I have created. You can see uh, I have uh, added a form for input put and uh, again this is the result section. The, this is the result section which is uh, uh, showing here and uh, and this is the logical part. I mean the part where I am calling the services. Okay, so here you may see I have used 
uh, open ai service dot images and dot gen date so gen date uh, open uh, gen date is a method of open ai service under the image classes okay and uh, this is the uh, required parameters that we need to pass for generate the images okay and uh, once this will execute it successfully it will provide you a result and that result i am uh, binding here okay so if you will uh, if you will click on this so here you can uh, debug this code to understand so i will click on the search and here i will go for debug to find what is the result here okay so it will take some time for generate the images and uh, here you will see in this time it will generate the something next uh, i mean different okay so under the result here i have one uh, count okay so this is the image url that open ai provided us so this uh, i mean uh, currently open ai provide a uh, uh, open uh, space uh, for their images. Uh, uh, so this is a hosted URL uh, in terms of OpenAI. Uh, so that URL is when you will click on the continue. So in this time you will you will see something different in terms of images here. Okay. So this is the images. Okay. Okay. So in this time the images is something different. Okay. So I mean how many time if you required the more than one result so here you will just put the two result it is just for the demo purpose uh, i mean the number of results for your understanding so in this time uh, this open ai will generate the two different different image with the same input okay uh, i mean cat with uh, uh, india gate so here you can see uh, there is an image uh, with a different uh, background and all and this is the image with the different things okay uh, but in the both image uh, it is uh, taking care of our input that we have already provided okay now we'll go in our another scenario called text moderation so this is a scenario which is basically used to identify what text is against the com uh, chat gpt community guidelines and what is not so currently for the example i have added he will kill them so i mean according to the chat gpt community guidelines the kill is a word which is against so when you will click on and uh, for that i have added a page called moderation so here i already have put it the debugger so i will show you how uh, this will uh, provide us the response okay wait a second so when i will click on search so i will debug this code and uh, here in the response uh, wait a second it is taking some time okay so sometime it is taking some time so oh, here in the response when you will open the result so inside the result uh, here you can see the flag true so that means uh, if you will write uh, you will see the flag true it means it is violated the community guidelines so currently uh, this is the user i mean developer defined method so you can put anything else that is just for the understanding i have added and the content is violated the open ai community guidelines here if i will uh, remove these things i ask them i will ask them ask them so i mean this is a general word which is not against the uh, community guidelines so in this time it will provide us a response as false so here you will go and check that result so in this time that result is false so i mean on behalf of that particular flag uh, i mean developer can provide us a pop-up uh, for the user consent either user want to see this particular content or not i mean this type of things user can uh, developer can do okay so this uh, for currently uh, from the demo purpose i have just added this particular message okay so this is the things that i have covered uh, uh, in this video i mean uh, for the text moderation uh, we have used the open ai service and moderation under the moderation i have called a create service and i have uh, passed whatever request we have and on behalf of that it provides us 
the responses either it either it is uh, uh, against the chat gpt community guidelines or not so this is the three scenario that initially i shown you in our uh, uh, demo uh, hope uh, it will help you to understand how you can utilize the chat gpt with your visual studio and a latest version of dotnet okay so that it's uh, if you feel this video is looks helpful for you then please uh, subscribe our channel and uh, hit the like button and also share with your uh, tech community and uh, tech circles okay and uh, i mean the required video uh, i will add in the description so i will add uh, the video that i already created for the chat gpt extension uh, so the chat gpt open ai is also provide a extension called chat gpt extension so how you you can utilize the chat gpt extension to improve your code quality and uh, code productivity development productivity it's all is covered on that video so you can go and check out that video so i'm talking about this chat gpt extension okay so i will not go in deep because i already created a video for sam so you can see in my description i have uh, i will add uh, the uh, url link so the, this is i'm talking about chat uh, visual uh, chat gpt studio okay so that's all and uh, regarding this app setting dot json i already mm, created a video how to create a uh, api key so for that also i will add uh, the url in our uh, description so please uh, go and follow this particular url so thank you thank you so much